My name is Kent, and this is another Photoshop to Unity tutorial. This is part two of creating repeating or seamless textures. If you haven't seen part two, see it there. If you have seen it, welcome back. Let's get started. In this tutorial, I really won't be going over how to create and manipulate the terrain very much. Uh, we're mainly going to be focusing on the painting aspect of it and bringing in the textures that we created in Photoshop. First we're going to go up to Game Object, we're going to go to 3D Object, go down to Terrain. Now that we have our terrain out here, and let's see, let's go over to our, I have two monitors here, so I'm just going to have these in this Textures folder. Um, just assuming that you already have yours created, um, normally in your Textures folder you'll have all sorts of things for Okay, they have walls, you know, there's like cement or something in there that you're going to have for your textures. Uh, so you just go into your textures folder, maybe you want to create another folder, uh, let's call it terrain. So now you have your terrain folder. So I'm going to drag over my textures here that we created. Now you see we have these. I just named them dirt tiled and grass tiled. Let's get out of that there. Next what we want to do is come over to here and we're going to come to this paintbrush and then we're going to go down to edit textures, add a texture and then we're going to go to select and since we're just doing grass and dirt, uh, you're going to want to have this layered as if it was how, how it would be in real life. So you're going to want to do the dirt one first. Double click on it. And 15 by 15, uh, so that, that's how it's going to be tiled in the game engine. So it'll be 15... Uh, 15 times on the x-axis and 15 times on the y-axis. So let's just click add. And, and since this doesn't have a normal map on it, we won't be adding the normal. This is the uh, uh, RGB, the albedo. So we'll just leave that the way it is. And there you have it. You see that tiles pretty nicely. Let's go add another one. and let's do our grass and if let's say we had a bunch of textures in here what we could do is just go into our search and just do grass so you see it's the one that comes up right away and let's also leave that at 15 and if we wanted to come back to that and change those values that were at 15 we can just do edit texture Add a texture, and it brings up the dirt one, and that's because it's the one that's highlighted here. So you see if I have this one selected, there's the blue bar that's next to it. Add a texture. There it is, like that. So let's go back. Let's fly around in here, and let's try painting with this grass texture. So now our brush size and opacity. Our brush size is pretty obvious. It's going to be how big our brush is. And our opacity, that's how I intense our brush is going to be. So our, it's similar with Photoshop. Let's pretend that you're painting on black and white. So the absolute down to zero is going to be black and then all the way up to I think it goes up to a thousand maybe is going to be white so it's like painting on a mask so if we think we would actually want to have this down to let's just have a one I'll we'll see brings in nice and soft normally when you're painting on terrain you're going to want to have when you're trying to blend the two textures, you're going to want to have it as a one. 
but if you're trying to paint it just pretty solid, like if the whole area was going to just be grass, that's where you'd want to have the higher opacities. So once you get some more textures in here, like if you were to do snow, uh, you could also do like a gravel with some of the alpha channels. You could do gravel over this, make some nice looking stone or leaves or something. That would look pretty neat. And then let's also, let's mess around with some of the brushes here. So we have our grass selected. Let's have so you can see there's this artifact in here, and what we want to do, uh, we can change that uh, so it's less noticeable, not only by the uh, blending of the two materials, but also by changing the uh, amount of times that it tiles. So by stretching the XY coordinates, and also a lot of times in uh, things like, especially RTS engines, what they'll do is they'll have multiple grass textures. They'll have like three or four grass textures. So it's really difficult to notice the grass being tiled. Uh, they'll have it blended very, very well. So let's go over to our edit textures. Edit texture. And let's, let's try making this like 25. Uh, let's let's make it higher. Let's make it like thirty. That's a little less noticeable. Can also let's apply. Oops. some of this out, some of that. Now if you'd want to, you could also take your texture, your grass texture, whoops, let's get that selected again. If you want to, you could also take your grass texture back into Photoshop and try and get rid of whatever artifacts you see. So in this instance, what I would do is I would just uh, take it back and let's clear this out. So I'd go back and I'd find wherever I see this lighter texture right there. Let's get that selected. So I'd find this lighter part of this texture. And I would try and blend it more so it looks consistent with the rest of the texture. But overall, it looks pretty good. Uh, every texture, even though it's seamless, is still going to have some artifacting. That's it for this tutorial. If you haven't already, please subscribe and remember to like this video. It would really mean a lot to me. I also have a Patreon now. Patreon is a cool and simple way for you to contribute and support me and my channel every month. You'll get super cool rewards in return. Please go check it out and become my patron. And have a wonderful day. Oh my gosh. I need a bottle of water.